Mr. C asked me to do this, and I'm gonna break this up in sections, and this is gonna be part one. Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Johnson. Uh, today I'm gonna to be going over a few things I do in everyday life uh, with my career. I'm actually a real estate broker. Also, uh, Layla, Lydia, Jess, and Julia's dad, they've been some both. One of the things I do when I sell a home is I have to determine how big that home is. By doing so, we have to calculate the area of the square footage. So I've got a little diagram here of a house. What we do is we multiply the length times the width, and that gives us the actual square footage. So we know the width on this side, and the width on this side is 32. So that's gonna be, for certain, we're gonna have 32. Now, as you can tell, this house has a couple uh, of little rooms built on, it looks like, that uh, actually makes it a little bit larger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna imagine that they aren't there for the time being. So these rooms here, we're just gonna imagine that they're not there. We're gonna add this together to get our length. We got 28 plus 12, eight. That's 48 times 32. All right, so we're gonna multiply 48 times 32. That's 1,536. Now remember that is only this area right here. It doesn't include these two spots. So you can tell both of these areas here are five foot in width and 12 foot in length. And we know five times 12 is 60. So we're gonna add 60 to that and five times 12, 60 again, 60 there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 1536 plus 60 plus 60. Now the area of this total house would be 1,656 square feet. And we do this simply by length times width. It gives us our area and it, it determines how big the house is so people you know looking to purchase a home they know the size of the home. In the next few parts I'm going to explain more about how the square footage determines price and, and so forth. But this is square footage of a home. We do it every day length time for you.